little hooping tonight and uh, we went down to the uh, fish market, uh, 99 Ranch, uh, and uh, picked up some fish heads. And uh, I got some salmon heads and some pieces of bonita that we're gonna use for bait. So we're gonna target like 20 to 35 feet of water today. Here, here's what we're using. This kind, this is what the, they really like to glom onto. This is really oily salmon head chopped in four pieces. So that's what I'm gonna, we're gonna put inside the hoop nets and drop them down about 25 feet. Put a buoy on top and just uh, give them a few minutes to climb in. Yeah, so so one of the main things about, about hoop netting is, uh, is getting your gear in your boat. What I like to do is just throw all my bait inside right here in a paddle. Um, and the Hobie front hatch is perfect for keeping uh, your buoys. Plenty of room in here, and I keep them on a piece of rope so that they're they're organized and stuff. The Hobie bait tank is perfect for dropping the hoop nets on top of because you can see it's really a solid um, platform to keep. They drape right over the top of the bait tank, and it's perfect. You can also, at the end of the night, put all your lobsters inside the bait tank and uh, and extra gear too. It uh, just works perfectly to have. I've got a Revolution here and um, a Hobie bait tank on top, and I'm I've got these bungee cords through the mesh and hooked onto the net just for safety with some with some pressure so that um, if I get wobbly in the surf, um, I will, uh, I won't lose the net. So here's my, uh, here's a standard uh, conical hoop net. This is the, one of the Eclipse, um, I mean the uh, Promar ambush nets. I kind of like them because they're a little smaller and they're rigid. I'm gonna show uh, how I would rig one of these up out here. So first what I do is I have all my rope inside inside my uh, um, net and I just pop it out. I got about 25 or 30 feet of rope on here. It's got, um, it's a nice bright rope so you can see it at night. That's kind of key. Nylon rope there. Yeah, it's nylon rope. I think this is half inch. There's three quarter inch and the thicker it is, the easier it is to pull, but the, the bulkier it is to store. So what I'm gonna do is get one of these buoys slide the rope through it and put a long line clip on the other side of the buoy. So here's, here's my standard buoy. It's got some reflective tape on it. First thing I'm gonna do is uh, stick a light stick in it. It's actually got a hole in the bottom with a couple one ounce weights in it to keep it upright. My light stick's gonna be standing straight up. I'm gonna put the rope through the buoy, push it out the back side and then just clip that long line clip on the back side of it and my net's basically ready for bait. So, just done that, throw the, throw the long line clip on. For floating, it's gonna float upright just like that. Oops, it's gonna float just like that. The long line um, clip pulling that, um, the extra rope down behind it. Now let's get baited up. I like to use these cages like this. It keeps, um, it keeps all the seals out and it keeps eels from stealing your bait. Um, so I'll take a, a, a cage like this, grab a couple salmon heads, or a couple pieces of salmon like this, and I'll drop them in there. So I've stuck it in there, I close it, I wrap this around here and then lock it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'll take my net that I just got the buoy ready on, and I'm just gonna clip this uh, carabiner onto here, like that. So now there's no way that that thing's coming out of there. And then we're ready to draw. What I look for on my fish finder when 22 feet of water with some rocky bottom, which is a good, a good spot to go for. Um, uh, sometimes there's some sandy areas around the rock you want to target, but um, this is some flat area with some really big rocks down there where uh, there's a lot of caves and uh, areas for the lobsters to hide in. So I just take this thing and set it over the side. Just throw the buoy over with it. Just throw it on the other side of my kayak here. 